Hi you guys, so as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing first impressions of some basic care, The Nature, I think that's the entire name of the brand, but I'm just going to go by basic care for this, you know, sake of the video. I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the products that they just sent me. I just received them today. I have them right here. Uh, let's just unbox these together and try them together as well. I love first impression videos, so I wanted to give you my true, you know, first impressions of these products and and then I will be doing like a full review and all the things like that. I love to see, you know, just like people's first impressions of products and if they change and whatnot. So let's just get into these products. Okay guys, so the first product I'm going to be trying is the Purus Foaming Cream Cleanser. And this is what the box looks like. Um, the packaging is really, really nice. So um, let's just pop this open. So it comes in like magnetic packaging. It's really cool. Oh, it has a seal. I didn't see that. Let's see. Um, aha, here it is. Okay. So here is the cleanser. So this is made in the USA. That's great. Um, really pretty packaging. There's like a sort of like a Chinese landscape, I think. Clay, figure and treasure seeker of crumpled ochre bits. Searches glade and realm. Forager of open spaces overwhelmed by nature's Sorel wisdom. That's what it says right there. Um, okay, so let's see. It says use moistened face with water, work a small amount of cleanser into a lather in wet hands, massage onto dampened face and throat using small circular strokes. Rinse thoroughly and proceed with your day-to-day -day skincare routine. Avoid the eye area. A lot of the ingredients are actually organic, so um, I'm super excited to try this. Oh, okay, so it has the kind of t tube where you just... So I kind of had to like push down in order for it to um, open. So it has a squeeze app, like squeeze container. Um, let's try this. Okay, so I'm going to like moisten my face a little bit. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It smells like lavender. The, that's what I get initially. Feels really smooth. It says it's foaming, so let's see if it really foams or. It foams, but it's a really nice, very silky foam. It's not bubbly. It just smells really nice of lavender. Feels very gentle. Doesn't feel um it doesn't feel like it's stripping yet. So it's I mean it's foaming, but it's not really like a foam. It's more of like a creamy sort of lather, which is what I kind of expected it to be. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm gonna rinse this off now. So I just rinsed that off and um, my skin feels really nice. Um, it doesn't feel tight at all. Normally, <laughs> normally I go like that to see, you know, how, how tight my face feels. Um, Cause uh, you know, when you live in a dry, like non-humid climate, as soon as you rinse off your your cleanser, it's like you can just feel the the life being <laughs> sucked out of your skin sometimes. But actually, my skin feels really comfortable. So um, I'm actually very impressed with that cleanser so far. Um, that my first impressions of the cleanser are that I really like it. Um, so let's I guess move on to the next one. So yeah, that was the purest foaming cream cleanser and wow, I really, really like this. So this is their roses, rosiest floral hydrating toner. Um, okay, let's open this one up. Okay, there we go. 
I'm gonna have so much packaging. Um, okay, so it says shake well before use. I forgot there was a seal again. Let me I like that everything's sealed up. That's really nice. Okay, so here's the toner. It's in a glass bottle. Um, it says shake well before use, cover eyes and spray evenly over face and neck area, follow with treatment serums and moisturizers. Feel free to use this toner throughout the day to freshen up. Another thing that I need to mention is they told me that after this, I'm supposed to go in with the oil, so let me get that as well uh, while my skin is still wet. So let me also unpackage the oil. This is the Oleum Super Oil Concentrate. Okay, so Oleum Superb Oil Concentrate. All right, so I'm going to spritz my face with this and then I'm gonna apply this right after while my face is still wet. And I normally like to apply oils when my hands are still wet too. So I think I'm gonna wet my hands as well. I don't know, we'll see, okay. So let's try the, ooh, this is like a really nice, okay. A liberal spit spritzing, that felt really good. So wow, that feels amazing, really, really nice. And it smells really nice. Okay, it smells exactly just like rose water. And then I'm gonna take the oil. I'm just gonna do like four drops. Press that in. The oil ooh, has a really nice scent. Um, I'm gonna have to smell it by itself. Okay. So I think that's pretty much absorbed. Um, Feels really nice. Let me smell this. So this is the oil. I actually, it doesn't really have that much of a scent. Um, I think it was just a mixture of the um, rose, rose water toner that was mixing with the oil. Okay, so right now my skin feels really, really good. I'm gonna spritz with this one more time just to like seal in that. I can't get the lid off. There we go. By the way, this spritzer is really, 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 really nice. I'm gonna reuse this for like, ever. I really enjoy that rose water. Wow. Okay, so my skin feels really nice and hydrated, moisturized as well. Okay, okay, so after I applied the, the toner, the mist, and the oil, um, my skin feels really, really hydrated, really nourished, and um, basically ready to apply the next product. So the Arigo Supreme Lifting Serum. So let me open this one up. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. So this says to apply liberally to face after cleanser and toner, follow with other treatments and moisturizers. Skin's looking pretty glowy. Okay, so, okay, so that's what it looks like. So far, it just smells kind of Um, oh, really nice. It has a, a very light sort of herbal botanical scent. It 
So this is the Lifting Serum. So let me just pile this on. Uh, hopefully it helps to lift. I've never actually put an oil on before a serum. I normally put the oil on before the creams, but... Okay, so... That feels really, really nice. It feels very hydrating. Okay. So far, so good. So that's the Arigo Supreme Lifting Serum. And then the last step is the Alivo Satin Lift Emulsion. I don't know why I didn't... They told me to put the Alivo on last, so I'm confused by the naming convention. Because Emulsion, to me, seems like you would put it on first. But, okay, so this says... Apply liberally to face and neck area after cleanser, toner, and serums. Oh, okay, so that's what it says, after serums. Okay, so um, this is what the Alivo looks like. Let's try this. Is my pump broken? Oh, there we go. Okay, very similar texture to the uh, Arigo. So this is the Alivo. Smells very similar too. Um, hmm, okay. Feels very similar. <laughs> I'm like, am I putting on the same one again? No, I don't think so. The textures of these are amazing though. They feel so nice. If my face looks pink, it's because I exfoliated physically, like manually before I did all this because I wanted my the products to really sink in. Okay, at this point I really don't know the difference between I can't tell difference between the Arigo and the Alivo. But these are the two. Um let me just pump them out side by side on my hands to see. Right, so the first one I applied was the Arigo, so let me pump that one out. Let me do it on the back of my hand. So the first pump, this is the Arigo. And then the second pump, this is Alivo. So, Arigo, Alivo. I guess the Alivo is a little bit um, runnier. But they feel almost identical. Let me They're both lifting, satin lift and supreme lifting. I'm gonna have to do a deep dive into this. That was my first impression, you guys, of the basic care of the nature skincare products it's totally not focusing on my face there we go so you guys that was my first impressions of the basic care the nature skincare products um 
I mean, my skin feels amazing right now. It feels extremely, extremely hydrated. Um, very hydrated, very moisturized, um, plump. Let me just look in the mirror really quick. So my initial first impressions are that my skin just feels really plump. Um, it feels very hydrated, something that I haven't felt in a while. <laughs> like my skin just hasn't felt hydrated. Um, these products just feel very, very moisturizing and very, very hydrating. Um, I, the, two, the, the two pumps that I put on the back of my hands, like my hands feel really just very, very, very um, hydrated and moisturized. And the thing that I noticed about this brand is that um, I'm pretty sure they're manufactured here in California, so which would be good because for me, being in this state, um, you know, it's very dry, so they probably have a pretty good idea of what is going to keep someone's skin who is in this climate um, from being not so dehydrated. Um, so I'm pretty impressed so far. But um, so thank you guys for watching my first impressions of the Basic Care the Nature skincare. And I will be giving you guys my review after I've used these products um, for about three to four weeks. So I hope you guys stick around for that video. All right, see you. Thanks for watching, bye.